In making the Wild Canadian Year, we wanted to include species that we almost never get a chance to see. Animals like the star-nosed mole live in places where it's impossible to get our cameras, like the damp subterranean tunnels beneath the boreal forest. So for these stories, we have to recreate the natural setting in a controlled environment that we can get our cameras into. Now, the weasel and the voles, you've got a whole sequence again running through these tunnels. How did you do that? The subnivian world, that place that exists under the snow, is created new each winter by mice and voles that don't hibernate. So in order to film this, we sent Justin to Manitoba to build the sets for filming life under the snow. I'm just taking this to my office. He's here to work with Dr. James Duncan, a government biologist who's legally permitted to trap small mammals for research and education. If you look out in a field covered with snow, you know, you might have 20, 30, 40 voles running around there. So by just taking one slice through the snow and looking at one tunnel, the chances that a vole is going to do everything it does in that one spot, you could be waiting for, well, years. With Jim's guidance, Justin created tunnels through the snow that mimic the ones the voles build. When the voles were released onto the set, they went about their natural behavior and even started feeding. Great, uh, place After checking his go. vole traps, Jim discovers a new character for their subnivian world. And it's a weasel in its white winter coat. Oh, look at that. See the green ice on it? Jim uses a plastic pipe to move the weasel to the set. They seem to love going into these tiny spaces. Weasels are one of the few predators slinky enough to fit into the vole tunnels, something they take advantage of as they use them to hunt all winter. When the filming was done, the stars were released, separately. The weasel made a speedy exit, stage left. 